be true. Performance of the candidates. Ladies and gentlemen, in the 2020 KCP examination, the overall performance improved compared to 2019. Although the mark for the highest candidate dropped from 440 to 443 in 2020, the mean average performance and quality of grades of all candidates is higher. For example, whereas 1,393 candidates scored between 1 and 99 marks in 2019, that number went down to only 307 candidates for the 2020 KCT examination. This was an indicator that most candidates scored better than better grades than the previous year. In particular, I'm impressed that public schools have shown in the 2020 KCT examination by scooping 10 out of 15 slots of the overall best 15 candidates. Additionally, additionally, the top 15 places, the female candidates have taken eight, including the first three overall slots. I will read a few of them, because this will be given to the press. The first candidate, who is now the best candidate in the country for this year, Female Mumo Faith Kawi from Karimwailu is a public school and her score is 433. The, sec the second candidate, another female, was Songa Yubet Nanzala from Chogoria Girls with 432 marks. She is tied in that position with Murithi Angel Gakenia, Maseno Girls Boarding School, with 432 marks. The next one is Wanyonyi Samuel Mahano, Zoya Sugar Company, with 431 marks. So those first four candidates are from the public school. Then there's, uh, there is uh, Castro Williams, from Crystal Hill Academy, with 431 marks from a private school and is tied up together with uh, Tarus Chepkemboi Morin from St. Matthew's Septonok, a public school with 431 marks. The next one is Kikurui Ab Ab Abut from Lesos Hills Adventist with uh, 430 marks. The next one Mwangi Margaret Waruguru, Karatina DEB, very proudly a public school. The next one is Benis Chesed Omondi, Nairobi Primary School, which is just our neighbor here, tying with the 429 marks. Since they are clapping, I'll finish them. The next one is Kiogora Joyce Nkasa from uh, Chogoria, the public school with 429 marks. The next one is Daniel Chris Mboya, Crystal Hill Academy, private with 428 marks, and all the others are tied with the 428 marks. The, the next one tied is Njenga Lolwell Mwagambo, Emmanuel Springs Academy, which is private. The next one is Jeff Mutugi, Fred's Academy, 428 marks, private. Polycap Kiondi Ombongi, Uber Boys, public, 428 marks. And the last of the 15, Deborah Zawadi, Emmanuel Springs uh, Academy, 428 marks. Performance per subject. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce that five papers recorded an improvement in the performance of 2020 as compared to 2019. They are English composition, Kiswahili Luga, Kenya Sign Language Objective, Mathematics, which is thoroughly encouraging, and of course, religious education.
which can be Muslim, Hindu, or Christian. Five other subjects uh, showed a drop compared to, uh, to last year, 2019. English language, Kiswahili, Isha, Kenya Sign Language Composition, Science and Social Studies recorded a drop in performance. In terms of gender, female candidates performed slightly better than their male counterparts in English, Swahili, and Kenya Sign Language. Male candidates performed slightly better than their female candidates in mathematics, science, social studies, and religious education. I wish to commend all teachers, parents, candidates for this good performance achieved during a very difficult period. There is a timetable that I'm going to release to the press. I will not go through it, but I will say one or two things. In terms of comparison, comparing 2020 to, 20 to 2019, when we look at the candidates who are scored between 400 and 500, this year we have 8,091, which is 0.68%. As compared to 2019, where we had 9,600, which was 0.89%. But the, the earth shaking information, when you come to 300 to 399, this year we have a staggering 282,000, representing 23.67%, compared with the 2019, when we had only 223,000. Even of greater importance, ladies and gentlemen, 200 to 299 has 589,000, representing close to 50%, which is thoroughly commendable. This table will be given to you, and I, I don't think I should go through all of it. Our candidates with special needs, the Ministry and His Excellency the President remains totally committed to the dignity and total care of these uh, children with special needs. And we assist them by adding them between 30 and 45 minutes when they are doing exams. The number of candidates with special needs this year, in the year 2020, was high 2,675, when compared to 2019, when there were 2,407. The categories with the highest number of candidates with, with special needs uh, in 2020 are those with physical disabilities, which is 1,200, followed by those with hearing impairment and then seeing impairment. The highest SME candidate is very competitive because the person scored 420 marks compared with the top candidate last uh, in 2019 who scored only 414. The improvement further underscores the fact that performance of 2020 was commendable and that SNE children, given a fair and conduct, uh, conducive environment, can excel. Overall performance of SNE is as follows. 400 to 500, we had nine of them. 300 to 399, we had 318. 200 to 299, we also had a larger number of 897, out of a total of 675, comparable to 2019. Now, the list of SNE candidates, this was a request by His Excellency the President that we also read the list of the top nine SNE candidates who scored above 400. And the first one is Brian Otundo, from Set Green Hill Academy with 420. The second one, second one is Tibet Gibson Ndiema, Malondo CBM, 411. The third one is Kyoko Joseph Kialo, Kangundo DEV, with 409. The fifth one is Isibwa Blessings Monica, Mukumu Girls, 409. 
also jointly tied with Fanya Nainis, Naomi Yvonne Omare, St. Luanga Njoro Catholic, 409. Number six is Joseph Muya Rita, Young Achievers School, 407. Seven is Frida Mahamud Churie, Young Muslim Academy, 405. Number eight, Fidel Odera Ouma, Kari DV, 402. And finally, last but not least, Kaita Edgar Wilson, Lukuna School, Public, with 400 points. I particularly wish to mention a unique case of a candidate by the name Titus Musili from Kaunguni Primary School in Kitui County, whom I was informed had been sent home from school over flimsy grounds of going to look for lunch money. He ended up missing with the English composition paper. The government has intervened to ensure that justice is being, has been given to this child, and the child will get his results along with the others, and I want to thank the media fraternity for ensuring that this detail was given to us on time. Assessing the 2021 Kenya Certificate of Family Education results, ladies and gentlemen, as is our tradition, KCP examination results will be collected by respective schools from sub-county education offices. Candidates should therefore collect their results from their respective examination centers. Individual candidates' results can also be assessed by sending candidates' index number followed by the initials KCP through a short message service, SMS, to 2006. Individual candidates' results can be accessed by sending candidates' index number followed by the initials KCP through a short message service to 20076. This service will be available immediately after this event. Head teachers will be required to download and print the online results slips for candidates in their schools and authenticate the same before they are released to the parents and guardians. His Excellency the President has directed that every child shall be and must be given his results. And if there are issues, the Ministry of Education headquarters is there. Let us deal with them. First of all, give the child the results, then come and tell us what the problem is. It is now my distinct pleasure to declare the 2020 KCP examination results officially released and wish the <laughs> And wish, you know, and wish uh, all the candidates success in their future endeavors. Let me say something about we are still ongoing with the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education, and that process will end on Wednesday next week. As far as teachers are concerned, we have made elaborate arrangements to ensure that uh, those who are reporting next week to start marking the papers that have been completed earlier is done. And as we have heard, ours is to ensure that our teachers are as safe as possible in order to encourage them. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, um, the CS. I now wish to invite uh, Madame Imelda Baraza to give a vote of thanks. Thank you very much, uh, our Master of Ceremony, our CS. Allow me at this point to move a vote of thanks, and I will begin off by thanking the Almighty God for having given us the grace and having given us life to have a successful administration of the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education. So allow me to specifically thank you for the resilience you have shown when everybody had lost hope you stood firm to say it will be done and it shall be done and indeed it has been done. Can we give him a round of applause? <laughs> Allow me, sir, to appreciate the Chief Administrative Secretary's presence, the Principal Secretary's presence, for having found time to be with us today. Sir, allow me also to mention uh, the CEO Teacher Service Commission, Dr. Nancy Macharia, for the support she has given us to ensure that the administration of examinations and the marking activity has gone on very well. For today's function, sir, allow me also to mention the Director General and also the senior officers from the Ministry of Education, together with the directors that have accompanied you to this function, sir. We really appreciate their presence and also the support that they have given. I would like to mention that the PS in person and the CS were with us to see that we are working and they gave us the moral support. I'd want to mention, sir, the CEO uh, Kenya National Examinations Council, Dr. Masi Karogo, for the support and the encouragement and the commitment and the support that she has also given to the administration and the release of these results today. Allow me to also appreciate the presence of our council members for the support and also creating this occasion today and making it a success to be here. I'd also want to mention the presence of the chair of the Parliamentary Committee on Education, Dr. Florence Mutua, for finding time. Can we give her a round of applause, sir? Thank you. I'd want to mention also the media. And when they came in, they found that uh, they gave us leadership. And we appreciate that uh, you have been able to cover this function today and allow all our Kenyan citizens and world beyond to, uh, to be part of this activity. Allow me, sir, to mention the next staff present uh, for the support they have given and their presence here today. They are a committed staff, and we really appreciate uh, their presence here. With that, may I also say, may God bless you as you travel to different directions. And I want to also congratulate the KCP candidates for the job well done. Thank you, sir, and we wish you well. Thank you. Um, thank you, Madam Imelda Baraza. She's talked of God blessing us. And at this juncture, I'm asking Ali Farah to close the meeting with a prayer, Ali Fala. Thank you, the CS education, all protocol observed. I'll pray in Arabic and translate in English. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, maliki yawmideen, iyaka na'budu wa iyaka musta'een, ihdina sirad al-mustaqeem, سراد الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, all praise be to Allah, the Lord of the world, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Master of the Day of Judgment. You alone we worship. To you alone we ask for help. Show us the straight path, the path of those whom you have favored, not of the path of those who earned your anger, nor those who went astray. Amen. Jazakallah mukhairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Asante ni sana namba tiwe.